If it is Prime Minister Drought Relief Fund, it is applicable for 50% deduction. If it is not mentioned, it is applicable for 100%. Rebate only you will get if it is only less than 5 lakh. If it is more than 5 lakh, the rebate option will not be applicable. A warm welcome to one and all. This is your Adha sir here. Lecturing with the Ashram First Grade College, the Temple of Excellence. Now we are discussing session 11, unit 3 of your tax management. Under this, we are discussing the topic called assessment of individual. Under assessment of individual, in the previous session, we done with your topic called format. Now, we done with your format along with that, we also learned the calculation, tax lab and your surcharge part also. Now, Today we'll go with one basic problem on assessment of individual. This is not your question paper problem, but you will learn a lot in this topic. So we'll go for problem number one. This session will go with problems on assessment of individual. We'll work out only one problem. It is a basic problem actually. So we will do how much the tax liability. Later we'll go for the tax calculation also. Simple one. So whatever I am doing today, it is almost 70% of your exam problem, not 100%. Why? Because uh, I have taken some basic problem today. In the next session, we'll go exactly your question paper problem. So problem number one, Kishore gives the following information of his income for the previous year. 1920 and compute total taxable income for the assessment year 2020 and 21. In this, rent received per month. How much rent you received? 9,000 per month you received. Then, income from rent received from month, it comes under what? You have total five heads. Income from salary, income from house property, income from business or profession, income from capital gain and the last part will be income from other source. Now, as per this, we'll go for the first one, income from salary. So under salary, we will check. First one is what? Rent received. Whatever rent received comes under what? Income from house property. Now, this is what? House property. Should we take this 9000 directly? No. So this is 9000 per month we are supposed to calculate. Now we need per month or per annum? Per annum we needed. Have they given anywhere computed? They have not given word called computed. Now what we are supposed to do? 9000 into 12. You will get around 1 lakh. 8,000. How much you got income from house property? 1 lakh 8,000. They have not mentioned computed. Computed in the sense whether the standard deduction deducted. If you have studied properly in the previous sim, we have done your house property. While doing house property, we have deducted 30% standard deduction. Now, 1,8,000 minus 30%, you will get around how much? 30 and 24, around 3,240 uh, something you will get. So that we have to minus, not 3,240, 32,400. 32,400 minus you will get income from house property. Hope you are clear how to find out income from house property. So very simple, multiply into per annum, from that you minus 30% standard deduction, you will get income from house property. They will not ask you like this, let out property, self-occupied, or interest received, or any charges paid, municipal tax, all those things they will not ask you. That is already done in your previous sem. Those small, small calculation already done in your previous sem. Here only you are calculating assessment of individual. You are not calculating assessment of your house property. Hope you are clear. Good. Now, house property is done. Second one, income from business. Computed means they have done all the calculation. Take it directly. Your income from business is 2 lakh. Then, income from salary computed. They have done all the calculation. Take income from salary directly. 
Now, remember the format we have done in the previous session. Income from salary, below that income from house property, below that income from business or profession, below that income from capital gain. Add everything, calculate tax, this much only. Now, income from other source, 1 lakh 2000, take it directly. After this, he makes payment. See, these are your income, these are your payment. Why this payment? This payment is 80C to 80U. All the payments related to 80C to 80U. We'll go one by one. What comes under 80C, 80D, 80U? Already we have done all kinds of deduction. This is the reason I completed your deduction. Why? Because now you will understand better. Now, as per this, your life insurance premium, life insurance, any investment comes under what? ATC. What is the limit? Up to 1,50,000, no tax. Good. Next, donation to Prime Minister Relief Fund. Donation comes under what? Donation comes under ATG. Next, interest on education loan. Education for ATE. Medical insurance premium, all the medical insurance comes under what? Yes, it comes under 80. See, if you know the deduction, easy to identify whether it comes under what. Now, remember, donation to Prime Minister Relief Fund, they have not mentioned Prime Minister Drought Relief Fund. Again, I'll repeat, they have not mentioned Prime Minister Drought Relief Fund. If it is Prime Minister Drought Relief Fund, it is applicable for 50% deduction. If it is not mentioned, it is applicable for 100%. That I will give you four. Indira Gandhi, Rajiv Gandhi, Jawaharlal Nehru, and donation for Prime Minister Drought Relief Fund. These things comes for 50% deduction. Other than these four, rest of the things will come for 100% deduction. So this will come under what? 100% deduction under 80G. Hope you are clear. Good. Hope you understood the question. Now we are supposed to find out total taxable income. They have not asked us to prepare tax amount. We have to find out only what? Taxable income, not tax. Only taxable income. Those tax lab and all, we don't required. Now, so what is your taxable income? Add everything minus deduction that much only your taxable income. Hope you are clear. Add everything minus your deduction that is your taxable income. We'll go for that. Income from salary. I'll go back to question. Salary is how much? 4,10,000. Income from salary, 4,10,000. That is done. Second one. Income from business, 2 lakh. So income from business, 2 lakh, it is done. Next. Income from other source, 1 lakh, 2,000. Now, income from other source, 1 lakh, 2,000 your house property. As per house property, 9,000 into 12. What is your per annum? Per annum is 1,8,000. Your income from house property is, yes, rent received, 9,000 per month, 9,000 into 12, it will become 1,8,000 for the 30% deduction. If you minus 30%, it will come how much? 75,600. How? Like, 9,000 into 12, you got 1,8,000. Already calculated, minus 30%, it will be 32,400. Your answer will be 75,600. So up to this, you have done, what is your total income? Your total income means, we call it as gross total income. What is this? Gross total income. After getting your gross total income, what is the next procedure? 
if there are any deductions we are supposed to minus now we know that deduction number 1 number 2 number 3 number 4 total how many deductions we have 4 what is the first one your life insurance premium atc what is the limit of atc 150000 but how much we have 25 so easily you can claim Donation to relief fund, 100%, whatever they have given 15,000, take 15,000. Interest on education loan, unlimited. So how much interest paid? 8,500, take. Medical insurance premium, if you are an individual, how much? 25,000. If you are a senior citizen, it will be 50,000. But you are an individual and how much they have given? 12,000. If it is 12,000, easily you can take. Uh, irrespective of restrictions, you can take everything because everything within the maximum limit itself. Now, we'll go one by one. Deduction under section ATC. This 25,000 here not required. Contribution to life insurance premium, 25,000. I'll write it separately here, 25,000. Then, Deduction under ATD, medical insurance premium paid 12,000 or the maximum limit is 25, whichever is less 12,000. So we'll go with 12,000. Next, deduction under section ATE, interest on loan 8,500. So you can go for 8,500. Deduction under section ATG, donation to Prime Minister National Relief Fund, 100% of 15,000, we go with 15,000. Now, so what was your gross total income? 787,600. 787,600 minus total of this. Minus 60,000, you will get 727,100. What is this? Taxable income. So how much you got taxable income? 727100 is called as taxable income. You should do more. No. Why? Because in the question they have asked that just compute taxable income. They have not asked you to prepare tax value. Tax value is not required. Only you are supposed to find out taxable income. But we will do in this session. It takes maximum 5 to 10 minutes. But solution you are only supposed to give. Now, just I'll tell you the procedure, but calculation answer will be your homework for the day. Clear? So your homework is what? I'll show, show you the procedure, but the answer is your work. Clear? So how much you got? 727100. What is your taxable income? 727100. In this, 7 lakh. 27,100. It is above 5 lakh. Above 5 lakh means 3 category. Below 5 lakh, 2 category. Above 10 lakh, 4 category. What is this 4 category? 3, 2, 1. I have already explained you in the previous session. Please go back to your previous session. In that, I have explained you all the basic terms. Now, 7 lakh 27. First, 2 lakh 50. Zero, no tax. Two lakh fifty to five lakh. What is the difference? Another two lakh fifty. Five percent balance. Two lakh twenty seven one hundred twenty percent. Hope you are clear. Like this, you are supposed to do. So cross verification is very simple. If you add this, it should match 7,27,1. That's it. Then, if you match it, means your problem is correct. Now, I'll show you the working note. How did you get this? 2,50 is the first one. This is 5 lakh minus 2,50. This is 7,27,100. Seven lakh twenty-seven one hundred minus five lakh. 
So now it is easy to calculate, easy to understand also. Now, 2 lakh 50 thousand, 5 percent, how much you will get? Calculate it. The first one is zero. Second one is around 12,500. And third one, if you calculate, it will be how much? Um, it will be 2, 4, 5, 4. 4,000, yes, 45,420. Approximate, I am not sure. So it will come around 45,420, yes, yes. So total it will be how much? 57,920. For that plus 4% education says almost I only done this. So no need to do homework. I'll give you separate homework. Now, hope you are clear. Up to this, we call it as computation of taxable income. This we call it as computation of tax. Tax means you are calculated as per this lab. Above 5 lakh categorized into 3, below 5 lakh 2, below 2.5, 1. Above 10 lakh 4. Hope you are clear now. Should we get rebate? No. Why? The reason is rebate you will get only if it is less than 5 lakh. Rebate only you will get if it is only less than 5 lakh. If it is more than 5 lakh, the rebate option will not applicable for this person. Hope you are clear. Yes. Now, I'll go back to your previous slides. Please take a screenshot. So your problem number one, your solution part, continuation of your solution. So this is all about your today's session. Hope you understood how to do assessment of individual. Now, what is your today's homework? Homework is very simple. You have to write two to three lines about rebate. So what you are supposed to write in today's session, you are supposed to write two to three lines about rebate. No, no much explanation. What is rebate and what is a, a section for rebate? In the previous session, I have explained you what is a section for rebate along with that, what is the limit of rebate? Clear? So in the two to three lines, you have to explain me what is rebate. Thank you.